Welcome back to Good Things Utah. This is interesting because I was just talking about this with my girls last night. We were watching America's Got Talent, and one of the main performers was telling the judges he has epilepsy. It's so much more common than you may think. In fact, three million Americans are affected. We have Dr. Pega Afra here. She's a neurologist from University of Utah Healthcare to tell us a little bit more about it. Let's start with the basics. What is epilepsy? Yeah, epilepsy is actually one of the most common neurological diseases. It's actually one of the oldest human diseases known. And usually patients with epilepsy will have intermittent seizures throughout their lifetime. And these seizures are not necessarily provoked or precipitated um, by any factors. And so this condition of having spontaneous and recurrent seizures throughout one's lifetime is called epilepsy. How common is it and who is it most common among? Well, uh, epilepsy does not spare any race, any age, or any gender. It's common across all ages. The most common peaks of epilepsy are during childhood, which are genetic epilepsies, and during adulthood, which are the acquired epilepsies. When people start getting strokes, mm. brain tumors, head traumas, they are uh, prone to have epilepsy. So what actually causes the seizure? Yes, yeah, so when our brain functions normally, mm -hmm. uh, we have normal electrical discharges in our brain. When the normal electrical discharge is interrupted by some abnormal discharge, that will cause a seizure. And usually a person with a seizure can have a variety of manifestations. Mm, they can be staring, they can be jerking in one limb or another, they can be acting confused about very complex uh, acts, or they may be just jerking all over what we call Convulsions. The grand mal seizure. Absolutely. Yeah. So how do you diagnose epilepsy and then what do you do to treat it? Yeah, so diagnosis of epilepsy is clinical, uh, meaning that a person with epilepsy goes to a neurologist or epileptologist, tell their story, and they get diagnosed with epilepsy. But we usually have to confirm or make sure there is no underlying cause for the epilepsy. And because of that, we usually do brain imaging like MRI, and we may do an electroencephalography or EEG. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As long as the treatment of epilepsy is concerned, there is uh, four folds of treatment for epilepsy. The first line treatment is medications. And the good news is that in most patients with epilepsy, their seizures are very well controlled with one or two medications. Oh good, they're treatable. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But um, a minority of patients, um, the epilepsy becomes medication resistant. And so in these cases, um, are the patients who benefit the most from being seen in a comprehensive epilepsy program. Well, and the University of Utah does have a comprehensive epilepsy program. If you have any questions or maybe someone you love has questions, you can let them know about this phone number. It is 801-585-7575. And um, again, Dr. Afra is from the University of Utah Healthcare Department, and that's where you go when you want to know from the best what you should do. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here today. Thank you for having me.